This is ABC 7 News at 6. Time now to hear from another candidate for governor. All, we've, all week we've been doing this, airing the video statements that candidates have submitted to our website. Now six of the seven people on the ballot accepted our offer. Only Governor Schwarzenegger did not. Tonight we hear from Green Party candidate Peter Cameo. I'm Peter Miguel Cameo, the Green Party candidate for governor. And, and I'm running because we're not hearing the full story of the choices we have in California. I mean, how many Californians realize that the poorest people in our state pay the highest tax rate and the rich pay the lowest? Now, how did that ever happen? What do you think of this, that 52% of our corporations that have been more profitable than ever in our history are not paying any taxes in California, so that corporate taxes today are 40% lower than they were 20 years ago? In fact, in education, we have dropped down to 48th in the nation in test scores, 49th in class size, and we're spending close to $1,000 less per student than the national average. Now, I have a solution to this, very simple. Let's have the richest people, the millionaires, pay the same tax rate that people who make 20000 pay. You know what that would do? If we took people over $200,000 and put the same tax rate as the poorest people, we would have another $10 billion in the budget. That means we could be above the national average in education. We could begin solving all our problems. We could begin working on alternative energy. If the corporations paid the same taxes they paid 20 years ago, that would be another $5 billion. But you know what's happened for the last 35 years? The average person in California has had no pay increase, but our economy has more than doubled. Inflation adjusted. It is all going to the richest people. This is wrong. But you're not going to hear this from the Democrats and Republicans because they're funded by these people. I'm here to try to speak for the Latino community, African Americans. I'm against the death penalty, against three strikes. In fact, we got a Latino right now doing life in prison because he cheated on a DMV test. Santo Reyes. And I'm asking the governor, free him. If I'm governor, I'd free him tomorrow and I'd free a lot of other people. We got the jails are full of people who are not really guilty. And, you know, tied to all of this effort that we're talking about creating justice, rational thought, balancing our budget, helping education, is saving our environment because our environment and the economy are the same thing. We need to have a massive program now to develop solar energy and other alternative energies. And one of the issues that's really uh, right now being discussed very strongly in our state is immigration. Let me tell you something. For every 100 Americans, one Mexican arrives every six years. We don't have an immigration problem. In fact, these immigrants strengthen our economy and create jobs for American citizens by their, look, let's keep the factories here. Let's keep economy here. That's what people keep saying. Well, you can't do that unless you have this immigration, which is, as I say, one person out of every hundred every six years. We have to give these people the same rights we gave other immigrants. I'm the one Latino running in this race, and that's why they don't let me in the debates. Okay, I'm not accusing anybody of racism. That's not what I'm saying. But why don't they open it up and let all points of view be heard? Why isn't the one person that stands for legalization and for full rights for immigrants, for the driver's license, for equality, I'm the only one saying gay marriage. I'm the only one saying raise the minimum wage to what it was in 19... 68 when it was over ten dollars an hour i'm the only one saying no to the death penalty no to three strikes this is massive support for these positions in california and there's massive support that i be in the debates and yet they exclude me and in, in in the year 2002 69 percent of the people said i should be in the debates they wouldn't let me in this year we've just done a poll we're right there 63 percent of people who had an opinion saying camille should be in the debate they exclude me. Why? The people want me in the debate, but the corporations, they fund two parties, and it's only those two parties that you get to hear. The battle for free elections, for runoffs so that you're free to vote for what you want, proportional representation so every vote counts, is very important. And in California, we are fighting for that. You know, they'll, they'll accuse me. They'll say I'm a spoiler. Look, the system's a spoiler because you should be free to vote for who you want and you should not have to worry about that. This is not an issue in Europe. Let's have runoff so there's no spoilership. Let's have free elections. Let's have, let's protect our environment. Let's have social justice for everybody and let's save our educational system, which is one of the greatest achievements that we've made in the past in California and in this nation. So vote green, vote for your own interest, vote for the interests of this planet. Let's save our earth by voting green and offering a protest vote that will really send a message in this election. Because you can vote whichever way you want or wherever you believe in, but if you believe in us, why vote for others? Why give your vote away? 
to, to, to candidates who are pro the war, I'm absolutely opposed to this war or the Patriot Act, vote for what you believe in, vote green. And to hear the statements of the other candidates for all the statewide offices and from all the political parties, all you have to do is go to the Next Gen Politics page on our website, abc7news.com. We'll be right back.